Hey guys, it's Consumer Outdoorsman out here. So just want to let you know that uh, we're headed out to the UP, and we're headed out for a uh, just a great adventure that's going to take place, and we're going to run a long line trap line. I say we, there's another guy that's going to be with me, but I'm going to be out uh, basically by myself, and I'm going to set up a, a shelter, kind of how I wanted to do by myself if I was out in the bush, and uh, just wanted to just kind of the update. We're just get, leaving out and leaving Gaylor today, so I'll get we'll put all this together and. Uh, we'll see you on the back side. Well, hey guys, we got a neat little thing happening right here. We've got an escort. We got high winds going over the Mackinac Bridge, so uh, winds are over 25 miles an hour. So, yeah, kind of cool. We got our escort. You can see the bridge, the water just. I mean, it is just ripping across. So we're at 20 miles an hour right now. So, all right. Hey, consummate outdoorsman, always an adventure. Well, we made it to camp. Uh, we're at Maui Lake, so we're going to get shelter set up. I'm going to kind of walk you through what we got going on. Um, we're running a trap line, so we're going to do two different things. We're going to build a shelter um, also, but um, you can see we got the ranger, got all the traps, and somebody was so nice, they got us some wood. They left us some wood here already, which was kind of cool. I don't know whether, so I don't know who left it here, but that was really nice. So, got the truck. And uh, we're going to set up camp in here, so um, got his camper, he's going to stay in a camper there. So, alright. So, eh, got a little fire pit, but we'll build some other fire. It's Maui Lake, so we're right here by it. we got fresh water, so we'll boil up some water here in a little while to have some to drink. But that kind of gives you a big, wide view of camp. That's where we're going to have this base camp from. Yeah, we're going to be out here in the middle of a lot of this, and uh, there is bears here. Very, it's a very real possibility. Uh, there are wolves. Uh, we'll, hear, we'll hear some tonight. And uh, coming down here to the water, and look and see if I can find any tracks. And also, we found cougar. So, uh, all right. Well, <laughs> let me show you something. Those are not dog tracks. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mr. Wolf. Well, we have wolves in, that have been in this area, so uh, hopefully the wolves haven't run off the coyotes. We're going to run on canine lines. Uh, wolves, are, they tend to run off canines, uh, coyotes, fox, stuff like that, and also going to run uh, a coon line as well. So we're going to walk around this lake, and uh, we can get some muskrats and beaver, stuff like that. So, hey, it's Consumant Outdoorsman. Uh, we're on the UP Expedition Winter Fall 2015 um, hunting, trapping season, and just a little bit of survival training. So, completely off the grid, no cell service, but got the camera going. So, alright, we'll talk to you guys later. Well, hey, good morning, guys. It's uh, morning one. This is the Consummate Outdoorsman. We had a good night last night. Uh, got a little rain, so, can I see it put our fire out? on the camp there. Uh, did okay in the shelter. I'm going to replace that tarp. I've got a different one I'm going to try. Um, it did okay. Uh, we got some rain. I didn't get wet at all. So, let me kind of show you <clears throat> how my setup is. So, just pretty simple. Got the Grand Trunk sleeping, hammock compatible sleeping bag. But, <laughs> the really neat thing and I mean, what a gorgeous morning to wake up to that, that look every morning, and that's what we're at here, so. <clears throat> like I said, we're running a trap line, and we're out here after canines, and we had a lot of sets that we we put, yesterday we put uh, four multiple gang sets. And so you kind of see down this road here, there's camp, and then back down this road. So last night, down that road right there that you're looking, right up in that area right there, 
and right then, right down here on this lake, there was two coyotes. They were howling at each other and barking at each other. So, uh, yeah, you know, you, you think you're up here in the UP and, you know, there are wolves and stuff, but that wasn't wolves. I mean, the wolves weren't even, uh, never heard anything, but they're all coyotes. And I've heard about four packs of coyotes on different areas that we're going to get set up on today. So we're going to fit out all the rest of our traps today. And uh, I do believe that we're probably going to have something in our traps this morning. I'm really confident in that. But, hey, you know, God has been so good to us. Um... Uh, what a blessing it is to be able to be here. You know, I was a little worried about getting cold last night, but man, I stayed so warm. That Grand Trunk does well. Had a, just a wool blanket inside there with me, just in case. But um, what a creation that God creates for us. And able to enjoy this. We're going to be here for a week. Um, but just sitting out here, and I want to give you a kind of a backdrop view, if you can see that. What it looks like, friends. And I challenge people so much to get out and enjoy what God's created. So we're going to get some chow and uh, you know, go rustle up some grub here. So it's Constant Outdoorsman. We'll see you at the next catch. All right, guys. Well, we're back. We uh, ran our trap line this morning. Didn't get anything. Uh, but that's okay. That's expected. That's to be expected the first night. You're really not going to get a whole lot of uh, sense. If you did, man, you're doing really well. So I want you to see something. <laughs> the old wind kind of blew up a little bit. And... Uh, we're getting the old sleet and snow today right now, which is somewhat to be expected. And uh, we think it's going to blow through here. But I, what I did is I redone my, my hooch here. So, the old, the old shelter. Um, got, I tried one with small tarp. Did, I mean, it worked. I, did, I wasn't cold. It didn't get wet. It rained good last night. But I want to do something bigger. So, let me back up a little bit. So, you're going to see how... The difference is, when I walk in, it's so much, I mean, there's no wind, and so you can still use the, can use the Grand Trunk uh, hammock, but it's warm in here. I mean, it's, it's pretty nice, actually. And uh, I left this open right here, just this little spot, to have just a little bit of a breeze. So, it, just kind of, just for, just for giggles. So, but, like I said, we're going to put everything back up. And uh, that's going to be camp for the week. I'm liking that setup. It, it works well. So I've got the wind block on the end. So, But, hey, we're going to have a little fun tonight. Uh, let, me show you something. let me show you something else what we did. So our fire pit was terrible. So what happens is they put these rings in the ground. And you don't get any airflow. So what we did was made... Dakota dirt hole fire ring. So we get some air blowing down in there. I guess you can see that. Alright. And so we'll get a fire going here in a little while when the wind flows down. Well, it's constant outdoorsman out here, day two. And uh, we're going to set some more traps because what happened last night is we had some coyotes come right into camp. So we're going to set some down on the beach, up the road up here, and hopefully we'll get some coyotes. Talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it's the Consummate Outdoorsman out here. We're on day three, and what a beautiful scene. I want to kind of give you a background. This is Maui Lake, M-O-W-E Lake, here in the UP. We're about 20 miles south of Munising. So, um, you know, this has been a really nice adventure so far. Let me kind of give you a whole review here. You can kind of see the water. And yes, it spit snow yesterday on us. Wind's blowing out of the south today. Yesterday was blowing right out of the north. That's been the been the predominant uh, wind out of the northwest. Um, you know, we haven't got any animals yet in our traps, but that's kind of be expected. We've only had them soaking for a couple nights, and uh, we're looking, like I'm walking around this lake right now, trying to find muskrat sign, and I think I found a little bit right here. So, we'll, we're going to set some traps, and, uh, but, you know, this stuff is just gorgeous. Sorry, let me move too fast on you. Just walking all the way around the lake. So, we've had a couple, we had one little run-in with a gentleman who is a, um, 
dog musher and we had trap on the beach where he was coming down the trail we've had coyotes that come into camp we had a bear come into camp first night but last night was quiet it was nothing going on so well day three so consummate outdoorsman and we'll catch you on the next one gang well we're uh, making some more sets on this road that we looked at we found another intersection so a four-way intersection here got trevor down there setting some on another hole that he found but i want to say this is what i this is the set that i made right here a little obvious because there's a trap here or whatever is set so you can see it's a dirt hole traps right in there so we have used some lure and put some bait down the hole and i found some uh scat from another location so we put that in there but guys, we got coyotes working in the area. We went and talked to some other people, uh, the loggers, and they said this is where the coyotes have been hearing them at regularly. So we know we got at least a good pack in here. So we haven't got anything yet. Uh, we did shoot a grouse this morning, which was good. So we'll have that for uh, for dinner today. So it's Consummate Outdoorsman out here setting traps still 2015 on a great adventure. It's just a lot of fun. All right, guys. Well, Trevor's down here. He's making a dirt hole. This, he found this hole right underneath this log. And so this is how he's going to set his dirt hole. So here, here's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to put three small holes, one right in the center of the hole, slightly offset. Uh, so when the dog comes up, he puts his hand down to put his face in, we could get him. Put one offset to the outside here and one offset to the outside here, and then funnel him in. Now I'm doing my traps different than what I've been doing. So what I do, <clears throat> I'm just digging a small hole instead of digging out an oval. Now. Once I set my threes, get my night latch, get them level. All I'm going to do, I'm going to bury my double anchor swivel. And I use 36 inch stakes. Dog is not going to pull this out. Only one. If I use 18 inch, I use two. If I can get it in there. All right, so once I'm bedded, I can just twist my trap over my hole until I'm level with the earth, tuck some dirt under my jaws. Now, once I set this around, what I'm going to do, the same thing I did to the rest of my sets. You're just going to cover it with leaves and then... That's it. They won't see them. They're level with the ground. The pans are exposed. They won't freeze. The next couple nights are supposed to get down really low. And we don't want to come out here and have to unbed and keep rebedding all of our sets. So the other two holes will be made exactly the same. And we're out. Yeah, good morning, guys. It's uh, Tuesday morning. And uh, we're just getting up and getting around. Got some breakfast at a granola bar. And... Uh, I brought some boiled eggs with me, so I ate the last of those today. And uh, well, we haven't got anything yet in our traps. Uh, it's Tuesday morning, kind of disappointing. We've got so many traps out, so many different things. We got muskrats, we got coyotes, we got coon, our canine sets. And, um, we heard them last night. And uh, what's what's strange is, you know, you hear them running, and we heard a sound last night, and we're not for sure what the sound is, what animal this is that we've heard. Uh, but it was up here to the northeast of us a little bit. So north is directly behind me, and then west is over that way. Uh, I don't think you can hear it, but the loggers are way over. They're probably about four or five miles away, and you can hear them running. Their saws this morning, they run from like uh, 7 in the morning until uh, 8 at night. And uh, that's a heck of a job there. Um, went out this morning, walked around the lake. The lake's froze. It's uh, 27 degrees this morning. So uh, had a good night. I changed my sleep system up a little bit. I put my uh, Grand Trunk bag on the inside of the hammock. Uh, it got warm yesterday. It's supposed to get up in the in the 50s again today, which is just crazy. And I, I don't know if that's affecting the animals' the movement or not. We did have one trap where we know that um, the coyote came into it, and we've seen the tracks. We know it's coyote, no problem. 
Um, but we're excited to see what's going to happen this morning. Um, this is going to be a, just a trap check day. Not going to do anything else. I'm going to sit in camp. I think Trevor's going to go and do some more um, checks this morning. But, uh, you know, today's one of those, you know, one of those days where you got to keep going. And we had good food last night. We shot a grouse yesterday, which was really nice. We had it for dinner last night. Um, hopefully we can get a couple more of those. Uh, we've seen some big uh, snowshoe hair as well, so we've tried to look at, see if I can get on some of those. So we'll probably, this afternoon, what I might do is just put some orange on and just sneak to the woods for a little bit and uh, see if I can get some kind of small game or something to eat. So, lost some weight already, I can tell that. <laughs> um, I tried a, a mountain house meal last night. There was, was beef stroganoff. It was a dried meal I brought with me just to try. It was awful. It was just, just terrible. And so, check that one off the list and not to eat Mountain House meal. It was, yeah. Um, so, we're going to get out here and go get on the line. And uh, we'll hopefully we get you guys some kind of animal in the traps. See you later. Hey guys, Constable Outdoors went out here. Uh, well, we come up on one of our sets, so let me kind of tell you a little story behind this set here. So if you look, we got a trail coming down here. We got one coming up the hill, and then we got well, we call it Sasquatch Road. Sasquatch put the he put that log. I'll, I'll zoom in. Oh, can't zoom in on the record. Sorry. So we got here this morning, and what happened yesterday? We come to our sets, and our my traps were were tripped off, and we couldn't figure out why. And what had happened was um, a lady, this guy had stopped to uh, cut some wood over here, and uh, she got out with her dog, and she stepped on one of my traps, which didn't hurt her. She just scared her, and she tripped. And so she left them there, and she called, and the DNR came and talked to us, and so which is fine. That's what we want them to do. We want them to come talk and figure out stuff. But we came back this morning, and let me show you what happened. So right there, as you can see, there's my pan. There's my bait hole. He dug my bait up, and he stepped right there, and right there's my other other pants. So he stepped just right on the side of it, right there. So we're gonna back out. We're gonna rebait this. We're gonna pull my traps up, rebed them a little better, and uh, put a couple more traps around because he also dug that up right there. So, hey, uh, I think this is what day four, yeah. three, four. Yeah, it's like day four or something like that. So. Constant Outdoors right here on the trap line, and this is our last coyote set. We just got some more word that there's some other ones that's working down that way, but hey, we got a good set working, so we're going to get on it. Hey, guys, talk to you later. Hey, guys, uh, this is the Constant Outdoors right here, and uh, got Trevor going on, and uh, we just come up on one of his uh, P sets, and what a P set is is where you put P up on the on the tree or a branch or whatever, and uh, what's going to happen is, and you can see right here is the deer, and the deer tripped off both of his uh, traps. So, Trevor, why do you think that, that why, why does that happen like that? Uh, well, a deer like to come up and investigate the areas. Not only do they smell the fresh dirt, but they smell that fresh pee in the area. So they're going to come up and they're just going to sniff it. But uh, when they sniff it, sometimes they just put their hooks in the wrong spot. Yeah. And, you know, that and, and that's the other thing, too, is the traps that we use, um, the traps that are out there designed today, you know, they're going to be able to pull their foot out of it and they trip it. So, I mean, it happens. It is what it is. But we're going to rebed this and, and uh, get all this stuff reset, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Hey, we'll catch you guys on the next set. So, Consummate Outdoors been out here. Finally, we're on Wednesday, and we, we uh, were told by a local that there was a beaver set up down here. And uh, we got two small beaver, but this morning, I want to kind of go over this a little bit. This is what's called a TS-85. So, TS-85, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to set it, but I'll just I'll open it up for you. But if you look how big that jaw is on that, and that thing, from the factory, they, they set level, put them in a drowner set, 
um, they're absolutely fantastic as a trap for this. Uh, PCS Outdoors, uh, F and T, you know those guys have really just been great for getting my supplies. Put a, this one here uh, was on the dam, a crossover set, and so we set it prior to we're not setting on the dam. But this one here, the smaller one, we got him on a caster mount and with some um, with the TS85 coming up to a slide. So got him upset, got him going, and went out there. He was drowned. We got here this morning. So we, this one here we had to dispatch. Um, that's my fault because the cable got wrapped up in some of the little twigs and he wasn't able to slide down to the end of it. So Consman Outdoors are out here. What we're going to do today is we're going to get some beaver and um, we're going to skin these out today. We won't board them. Uh, we won't flesh them. Uh, we'll get them put together. But we are going to have some beaver meat this afternoon for, for dinner and for supper. We'll talk to you later. Thanks hey guys, Consman Outdoors been out here. Uh, so that's less than two hours ago we uh, tracked a couple beaver. One of them was already dead. We had dispatched the other one. But that right there is the back straps and some back haunches as well out of the old beaver we're gonna eat good got some taters grilling up as well cooking beaver on the open fire constant outdoorsman and it is wednesday veterans day hey guys constant outdoorsman out here again well i gotta say i'm a little on the shock side today um i'm gonna zoom it out just a smidge yeah guess what I have no shirt on today. It is 60 degrees outside, and we run our trap line, and it is absolutely incredible. We split some wood and took a bath while ago in the lake, and and uh, just walking down there, went down and took a bath. It's insane. I mean, what a beautiful week we've had so far. No animals yet, but we did have a coyote, like I said, that uh, uh, didn't trip the trap, but stepped around it, so we reset. And we set some heavy traps in there as well. So, hey, Constant Outdoors, we're not here. I think it's uh, Monday, so we got here Friday, uh, no, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, so day three. So, all right, we'll talk to you guys later. Hey, guys, this is the Constant Outdoorsman here. Uh, I'm going to get over here by the fire. Um, I don't know if you can see me or not. Um, let me put this down here on me. So, we've got, uh, uh, we got wolves howling tonight. And uh, it's kind of weird. I gotta be honest. Made the hair stand up on the back of my neck. So uh, we're gonna try to. I'm gonna try to catch it on on tape. I don't think you'll be able, or on film here. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not with all the background noise with this camera. So, but anyways, it's Wednesday night. We got wolves. We're howling. So there we'll see are. what happens. They're a long way off, but we can hear them. Yeah. Hey, good morning, guys. Oh, I think I look terrible this morning well it's uh thursday morning and uh we finally got the rain come in it started in about two last night and it's been just pouring ever since so it's gonna be a hooch day we're gonna run traps um but other than that man it's gonna be staying the hooch by the stove in we're gonna get some bacon and eggs i got just a little bit left and uh man it's been a tough week we think we know we heard a bunch of wolves last night uh, we heard them howling and working, and so what happens is the wolves get around. People say that the wolves aren't an issue, but they are an issue. They're a huge issue. Um, Trevor's out walking the beach uh, run, uh, loop this morning, and uh, but these wolves, what happens is they run off the of coyotes, and we know there's coyotes in here. We've seen them. We see the tracks and all that. We just can't get in our traps just yet. So this will be one of those days where we just run, run traps, get a couple hours in, come back in, uh, jump back in the hooch, and just stay in our shelter today. Uh, probably staying, I don't know, we'll go over Trevor's, we'll go over the neighbors, we'll go over Trevor's, but, uh, you know, one of the things I've seen this week with me is, uh, I want to kind of give you a little, some heads up, is food, um, man, we, yesterday we got some, we got a couple beaver, we ate beaver yesterday, and I had a couple potatoes left, so we've ate those, um, I brought minimal food, just some basics, and, um, but I haven't been eating much. Drink a lot of water. Uh, we boil the water off the lake and whatnot. Um, but if you can kind of see my hooch, the way the setup is, I went ahead and changed it back. Last night was the best sleep ever. I mean, it rained and I was sleeping. I was, I was comfortable. I was warm. I've been warm all week. Um, yesterday, uh, yesterday morning, woke up. It was 25 degrees. The day before, it was like 27. And uh, this morning, it's like above freezing, so it's almost like 40 degrees. So it's like really warm. Which we think our body's already acclimating as well. So, 
All right, guys. Well, we're gonna get some breakfast and uh, run traps to see what happens. We'll talk to you later. All right, guys. Well, we're out here on uh, we call it 18 Mile Creek. There, went to the open. That's what they got the guy said. And uh, put a blind set and a run. 3:30. Triggers were down. That's the that's the key to this right here. And uh, there was a just a run set. So we got this 40 pounder full by the head and legs. So he's crawling right through there. Easy, quick kill. So bring him over to you. Come across the river there. To the 18 mile creek. There he is. So we're gonna get that set. Pull him out. We're also gonna go up and check some other stuff. So stand by. We got another beaver. We're gonna be eating good today. Hey guys, good morning. Hey, uh, we just got back from the trap line, and uh, we got everything set up. And I've redone my shelter here just a little bit more because we got some weather coming in tonight, and uh, supposed to get some snow. But we got some rain last night. And just want to do something a little different. Try it again. So uh, what I did is I took some poles, made it like a uh, like you see like some tents. So there's the living quarters, there's the sleeping quarters, and there's the breakfast quarters, the hook hooking quarters. So you know, it, and there's lots of room in there. I can sit in here, sit out of the weather, and uh, except we got some stuff. Yeah, and that's what I use at night because I don't want to get out of the hammock. So, too cold to get out. So, constant outdoorsman. You know, I'm trying to do some different stuff. It's one of the one of the purposes this week was to experiment and uh, try different setups, different things. And this has probably been the best one I've set so far. So, all right, we'll talk to you guys later. Well, boys and girls, here it is. It's our last night here. We're going to go ahead and pull out. We've been seeing a lot of deer hunters, and the, the pumpkin patch is going to show up pretty soon. So, we had some more beaver today. Um, I think it's really good. I mean, just fresh meat, and uh, I got some sustenance in us, and so we got plenty of rations. We could, I could stay here another two, three weeks with the food that I've got. So, but we've got another weather system coming in, and uh, we're supposed to get some snow. You can kind of see the lake. We can watch the weather come across. Let me down here. All the people showing up with their rifles and whatnot. And you can see how the water in here is coming down. Coming directly out of the west. Right in on us. So, well, we haven't got anything else with this, those three beavers. Uh, which is good, you know, I mean, fur is fur. Um, but these fur are different up here. Uh, the fur, it's, it's so thick and plush. I mean, so that's prime grade fur that we got on those beaver. So, plus we got meat out of it, so we got to eat on all that. Very minimal ration this week that we went on. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I brought more food than I really needed. So, but we are going to go run our trap line real quick just to kind of look at it again. Make sure that nobody kind of got into any of them. And for last night, it would really be <laughs> upsetting if we got some... Somebody, you know, the coyotes come to them and their traps are tripped off. So, all right. Well, this is the Consummate Outdoorsman. We'll see you in the, guys in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. It's the Consummate Outdoorsman here. It's the last day, day eight, and uh, we've got the what they call the wintry mix going on. I call it yuck. Snow. We've had everything from rain to sunshine, 60 degree weather. We're running around without shirts and <laughs> having a good time. We're breaking down the hooch this morning. Trevor's pulling his jacks. This morning, Hi, so everybody. let me get in here and here we're gonna cook some. I got just a little bit of supplies left. Kind of give you a little recap. You know, it's been a great experience for us this week. I've seen a lot of things happen. Um, we haven't had much as far as you know in our traps. What we went for our target species was canine. We think the wolves are really the biggest issue that's been taking care of the pushing the coyotes around. But you know, we got three beaver. Or, yeah. Yeah, three beaver and uh, some grouse. So we've been, you know, that's really what sustained us. We were on minimal supplies. I'll be honest with you, I, I brought way more food than I ever thought I needed. And I didn't hardly eat any of it. So, um, but because we lived off the land. Uh, I mean, that's what we, I had it here as backup, but I didn't need it. Had some potatoes and onions and uh, had bacon eggs a couple days. But you know what? It's more about the experience. Had a good time of fellowship with Trevor. 
a lot of we talked a lot about biblical scriptures and salvation you know as far as others and um you know what is what does it mean to be out here in god's creation so this is constant outdoors when i here. appreciate you staying with us all week uh, we're gonna get the hooch break down broke down get some breakfast and get out and check the line i don't think we'll have anything on the line this week or this morning just because of the, the weather i think they're bundled up just like everybody else is it was rough getting out of, out of the hammock this morning but hey i appreciate you staying with us like and subscribe and share this and we'll talk to you later okay guys well on this damn crossover set but a drowner another phenomenal ts85 front foot catch Drown big old beaver. I mean, a big one. Up here in the UP, there's Trevor up there. Woo wee, you're pulling sets, the last one. Love it. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Hey guys, Woo. it's Trevor and Alan here. And uh, we're both doing a, a wrap up video. Yeah. So, we just got off humping back about 200 yards because we couldn't back the trailer down in there. Or I couldn't. <laughs> Back to our last sets on our beaver sets, and uh, we got another. We got the finally got the last other big uh, beaver. I think it's the female. So yep. we got the family unit out of there. So we're we're pulling out. We don't want to decimate the population. Right. But uh, it's been a good week. Eight days. Oh, absolutely, here. absolutely. Yeah. You know the canines were real rough up here, dude. I mean, them wolves are just playing hell on us trying to get them yotes. I think they're I think they're pushing them around more than anything. I, I really do, and you know you'll hear the wolves howl at night, and mm -hmm. then you know where the coyotes doing. You right. Know? They're completely the opposite direction. Right. And, you know, Trevor, this morning, good score to you. Oh, yeah. Got oh, the... yeah. That muskrat, baby. I've been after him for all seven days. I told Al, I said, you watch. Uh -huh. That last day, we're going to get him. And there he was. He was in the uh, colony, uh, trap. colony trap that we had down yep. there. So, yeah, good deal. So, one rat, but. Hey, hey we, got four, we got four beaver, uh, several grouse, and the rat. And yep. so, we ate good this week. So oh, yeah. the snow's let up and we're headed out and we're going back home. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is the Consummate Outdoorsman. This is Trevor Levesque from Levesque's Outdoors. Like, subscribe, and share Tell all of our buddy. videos. You can look find us at www.levesqueoutdoors.com. Uh, look us up. We do tons of stuff, including firearms training. It's not just trapping. So give us a look up. Again, that's www.levesqueoutdoors.com. You all have a good one. And this is the Consummate Outdoorsman. We'll catch you next time. Well, we're done for the week. It's been eight days, and uh, we're headed back across the bridge. So it's been a crazy week. It's been good times. Uh, weather's turning a little bit for the next couple of days, and so uh, we've had a great, great weather. The weather was um, 60 degrees a couple of days. We had full four seasons. <laughs> so I said that a couple different times. So headed back over the Big Mackinac Bridge.